Hello YouTube viewers welcome to my show Future Friday in today's episode we're going to take a look at ion wind aircrafts so is it hopeful or is it a hoax so let's dive right into it now before we dive uh, deeper into the subject you have to understand the basic idea of it the idea is it's basically one form of electrical propulsion so basically you will have your battery or power supply and it will ionize the air now it will ionize basically nitrogen and oxygen and then it will move that ions uh, from positive to negative it, it will move on its own basically that's why you are dumping the electricity or the energy basically that energy is causing ionization and then ion moves from point a to point b during that time uh, when you have positive electro uh, electrode and cathode it will move the you know ions will move but it will also impart basically the speed that is being created will also push air basically it will impart momentum so ions it's going from point a to point b during that time going from point a to point b it's also uh, taking neutral air molecules they are pushing it away that's what the idea is basically we all know if you have positive charge it goes to the negative it has negative charge it goes to the positive so that's what you are creating during that like you know uh, uh, movement of ions you are like you know taking some extra uh, work from it so that's the idea ionizing the air so do we use something like this in real life well, yes you can check my full episode here uh, about uh, ion engines but it is space tested basically if you want to watch full detail you, you should do that but to summarize it has very high specific impulse ion engines we know how to use it it has very high mileage specific impulse for rockets are generally 200 to 500 uh, to barely 600 these puppies go up to 2000 to 10000 so understand it mileage wise is very high however it does come with a consequence that it has very low thrust basically the amount of force that is exerting on you it's in nano newtons like uh, micro newtons it's like uh, dropping a a sheet for paper very little power and uh, it requires electricity plus fuel because it's in space there is no nothing to ionize it requires its own so basically to ionize something like this or have that sort of jet it generally carries xenon gas as to uh, you know as ionizing system so that's the current use that's how we currently use ion systems in real life so what are the promise of this ion system which you can easily see uh, in the video descriptions down below what is the uh, you know promise that they are offering first no moving parts you won't have hundreds and thousands of moving parts just in the engine there is no way you simply have electrodes one positive one negative you have a voltage uh, gap between them generally 20000 uh, kv positive 20000 negative basically gap of 40 kv and the air gets ionized and moves from point a to point b and then Uh, you get your propulsion and there will be no noise from it basically instead of 100 to 200 decibel uh, no, 200 is too high but 100 to 130 decibels of noise that is generated with jet engines won't be there so no moving parts and no noise that is like you know miracle so how the heck that happens so that was the promise that can be done however the snake oil parts comes along it's like every video i'm watching is like this is the next step this is the next revolution here's a pro tip if ever you hear somebody comparing themselves to like you know uh, right brothers or like this is on the same level as that run just run so and this idea is like it's going to be like you know future of propulsion we're going to throw away all our turbines our propellers our jet engines uh, aero spikes and all that and we're just going to use that it has no noise pollution that's awesome and it's going to be star trek level because if you type right now mit ion car this video goes around it's like you know it's going to be completely quiet like sci-fi fiction where you just get up go so that's what they are selling it this is the snake oil this is complete snake oil this cannot happen now let's break it down scientifically what the heck is the problem in this first it needs electricity obviously it's ionizing air you need electricity for that if you have that kind of energy well we don't we, we simply don't so this is a aircraft battery that is from siemens siemens already make a electric aircraft so the batteries are very limited in terms of range so flat out there itself you have the limitation it's not some magic thing flat out right there then in terms of the ion system itself it is very low efficiency compared to propeller so let's say you took the energy in the battery you turn a motor in your rotated propeller like this siemens propeller it has very high efficiency it can easily go to 70 to 80% efficiency and when you are talking about basically ionizing system you have to realize when you ionize something ionization happens in both direction you are also ionizing pipe like positive field uh, things will be moving to one direction negative things will be moving to another direction you want there to be unbalance in the system that's how you will get the uh, relative motion because if there is no unbalance 
it will simply you know electricity will uh, go from point a to point b you want a you know basically thin wire to uh, uh, wing foils now to do that it is inherently inefficient because you are unbalancing an equation so it flat out can barely reach 5 to 10 percent efficiency compared to 70 percent so flat out right there not only you need magical batteries to make it useful flat out in terms of efficiency ion engines are not efficient no way near efficiency of propeller systems on top of that that itself is not that bad uh, the problem is that it also does not contain power basically this duct system which is this big can provide hundreds of horsepower how uh, if you have this big ion engine uh, it will barely provide a uh, newton one or two newton so flat out very very low power basically your whole aircraft has to be covered in this to get any usable power so not only it has very low efficiency it also has very low power density on top of that they never explain what the heck is going to happen when it's going to rain because they have two electrodes and electrodes will only work as long as there is a air ionizing it but if water goes there it will cause a dead shot now nothing will happen to the system if you have enough fuses and all that but it will eliminate efficiency now you might be like doesn't rain cause issue with our modern jet lines no if you ever uh, talk to a pilot they will tell you like engines become more powerful if they go through rain simply because uh, the central figure force that is on the turbine it pushes the water on the other end and when water goes through the basically duct it also heats up takes the heat away from the engine cools the engine which increases the efficiency and because there is now much higher mass coming out of the engine rather than just hot exhaust it gets gain you know gains efficiency basically it gains more power so flat out we know how turbines work in rain all turbines is tested to that but this it cannot inherently it cannot so on top of that so this are the limitation first it can only work in dry weather then it does not have enough density then it does not have enough efficiency and these are the things that i am telling you that you can test on your own in your own home uh, in uh, description down below you can see people were doing this in nine, uh, like you know 2008 2012 like the video is from 2012 there are even older videos but the quality is obviously like i have seen 2008 video that's a very low quality so i am not posting the link down below but you get the idea like people were doing this this ion system we, we call it iono wind craft it's a very common it's a very old system but flat out from day one people did not want to pursue this for one simple reason it creates toxin wherever it goes so like whoa, whoa how the heck that happened it has no moving part it's running on pure electricity how the heck toxin is created when you are ionizing oxygen oxygen gets energy like you know things don't like to be in high energy state they want to you know come calm down basically you excite something it wants to you know neutralize itself oxygen in presence of a magnetic field or in presence of very high electricity when it gets excited it tries to uh, you know balance itself out by mixing with another oxygen basically instead of o2 you get o3 ozone which is a very dangerous material understand this if you want to uh, go to any doctor and tell them like what are the consequence of ozone it's on the same level as particle pressure you're from lung irritation to death can be caused from ozone to give you a context how toxin uh, you know how toxin and deadly ozone is many uh, hospitals in this uh, world take once the operation is done once the surgery is done they will seal the room and flush the room with ozone it will kill every single microbe there it's that effective so flat out having an engine that is producing ozone as an exhaust and it can kill human it's not like okay it will only kill microbial life no it can kill humans too we learned that the hard way so flat out nobody is talking about that and uh, when mit shows that in a indoor system yeah it's barely producing a little bit because it's only maximum power is 500 watts so imagine how much energy you have to spend to get people moving and not to mention why they are calling it an aircraft it, if it cannot get off the ground on its own like people are saying early Wright brothers early Wright brothers did not have any competition you have competition this MIT system has competition like I told you flat out you need magic batteries which you don't have if you have magic batteries propeller become much more efficient much more dense then why would you even want to bother and then people are like okay no noise again it creates poison uh, wherever it goes now you're like wasn't isn't ozone a good thing for atmosphere well in low uh, basically terrestrial ozone no high altitude yes terrestrial yeah it's dangerous for us so basically your airport will become a death trap so flat out flat out this is a bad idea in terms of efficiency in terms of toxin produce because let's say you somehow can figure out how to manage the power uh, density issue which they are saying the whole aircraft will behave as a wing somehow and let's say you've uh, sort, sorted that issue and you also sorted how it's gonna work in a rain let's say you figured that out somehow 
how the heck you gonna create uh, uh, handle ozone you can't and not to mention even nitrogen emits ultraviolet when uh, it tries to you know calm itself down so yeah that that's extra emission for you so it military is not gonna look into that because like uh, ultraviolet is very easy to detect in sensors and not to mention the no moving parts is no longer useful if you are losing efficiency for that so flat out i am actually surprised how many people bought into this without realizing that ozone part like i can understand because some people do mention it's not efficient yet it's not powerful enough i'm like these things cannot be solved this is based on physical interactions we know how electric propeller will work we like we got it like siemens built it airbus built it we have the technology we are just waiting to make a bigger battery and we will be good to go for at least a small uh, ferrying passenger from one big airport to small airports we we are good to go we can do that today this system like people are jumping on it as a bandwagon where like it's to basically i'm very angry with this but uh, to my surprise there are a lot of people that are like dude this is just a hoax you know calm down because flat out the iron craft you can build in your home and flat out it will start to stink simply because ozone smells very bad very bad like so please be aware of that it creates toxin and it requires magic batteries so let's say somehow you can handle rain handle low efficiency handle low density you can't magically provide magic electricity or it can handle the ozone system so flat out will we ever see ionocraft take uh, you know roots and become the next big thing no flat out no i hope not because you can't neutralize this ozone problem because even if it only let's say a few grams of ozone is created every time it's flying in a airport kind of scenario yeah you, you're going to make that area very hazardous so this was my presentation on ionocraft i hope you liked it or learned from it in that case please leave a like if you didn't don't worry about it you can dislike it i would urge you to comment and uh, please subscribe press the bell icon if you are free and as always thanks for watching